one of Thailand's most iconic street food noodle soups, beautiful plump wontons, roasted pork, and a broth so flavorful you won't believe. Mm. You need to practice your noodle slurp, guys. This is my version of barbecue pork wonton noodle soup. So I live here in Bangkok and I can get this noodle soup pretty much anytime I want. There's a street cart just down the road that I can go and order it from, but you guys probably not so lucky where you are, but I'm gonna walk you through how you can make this street food classic at home. It's not as hard as you might think. So let's start with the broth first. I'm gonna get all of my aromatics ready for that. Now I wanna start with some garlic. Just bruise these guys. And now some ginger as well and some star anise. These three things are gonna give a really beautiful flavor to our broth. For the base of our soup, I'm starting with some chicken stock. You could use homemade or store-bought. We are gonna doctor it up a little bit, so either is fine. And to really boost the flavor here, I'm gonna add some pork bones. So you can use pork spare ribs, pork ribs, pork soup bones, just add them in and they really do make a difference to the flavor. You could use chicken wings as well. And then in go those aromatics. And now for some seasoning. I've got some soy sauce and then a little bit of salt as well. Don't want too much soy sauce because that will color the broth. So the salt adds that without the color. And this doesn't take too long because we've started with a chicken based broth already. I'm just gonna let this simmer away while I get everything else ready. So wontons, we're gonna make our own, but if you wanted to make this even easier on yourself, you could use some frozen ones as well. Pork mince. And I like to go with a pork and prawn combo. So I've got some whole prawns here and I just need a really fine mince on these. And now I also want some finely chopped spring onion, some sesame oil, and then here are a couple of ingredients that really help with the texture of our wonton. So I want some corn flour and that kind of binds everything together, makes it sticky and then gives us that nice pop when you go to chew into your wonton. And then a little bit of water, that extra liquid will keep everything nice and soft. Now a dash of white pepper and some salt. And then you just need to mix this until everything gets nice and sticky and very well incorporated. Now you wanna take a wonton wrapper, grab a nice little dollop of filling there. I like my wontons to be fat and plump. Just a little bit of water to help seal the edges and you really can be rough and ready with this. No fancy pleating required. Just kind of smush the edges up over that filling and press together. Now this will make more wontons than you need for this recipe, but I've never found that to be a problem. Just pop them in the freezer and then you've got them ready for any kind of wonton dumpling emergency. So by now your stock would have been simmering for about 15-20 minutes depending on how quick you are with your wonton wrapping. Um, I'm just going to skim off a little bit of that stuff that's on the top. I just want to check this for seasoning. Mm, that is just perfect. You know, it's so amazing how quickly those pork bones impart a lot of flavor into that soup broth. Mm, doesn't need a thing. Now just strain that stock. I like to save the pork bones for chewing on later. That's just me. Okay guys, we're nearly there. Just a couple more things we need to get ready. We need some vegetables. Now this is the vegetable we would use here in Bangkok. It's choy sum. I just want some nice little bite-sized pieces. You could use bok choy, pak choy, any kind of Asian green is great. So the other thing we want is some Chinese barbecue pork. You can either buy this from a Chinese restaurant or you could watch a video on how to make it on my YouTube channel. Pretty easy to have at home and great to store in the freezer. A few slices. Now the noodles. So whenever I'm ordering this at a street cart, I usually go for what we call bami noodles or Chinese egg noodles. But you could use uh, thin rice noodles if you like, or any kind of noodle is, is good. 
The key here, especially with these Chinese egg noodles, is this needs to happen really fast. Overcooked noodles are really not a joy. So I do this individually because it's the best way to control the cooking time of the noodle. And now a little bit of the green vegetable. And we just want a couple of shakes in that boiling water and then straight out. And now we do the wontons. I always recommend cooking your noodles and wontons in a separate pot of water to your broth because both the noodles and wontons have some floury starch on the outside which can mess with your beautifully made soup. So just into that same water that I had the noodles in. And these just need a couple of minutes. Now these are looking good. They go straight onto my bowl. And then some of that beautiful barbecue pork. And then some soup. A little sprinkling of spring onion just on the end here. So there you go guys. If you can't get to Bangkok to eat this amazing noodle soup, you can make it at home. Okay, so I'm gonna dig right in here because I'm kinda hungry. Mm. Dumplings make everything better. <laughs> and some noodles. Mm. You need to practice your noodle slurp, guys. That broth with those noodles, wow. It's amazing how much flavor you can get in there. Mm. Very good. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Food.